guys, baik lagi channel gue kerisuk gitu ya, channel GSL guys Ini ada yang seru, ada yang beda juga guys Karena gue penasaran banget nih, teman-teman di DM itu juga banyak banget guys Ini mereka uh, ngasih tahu bahwa ada salah satu favorit produser gue guys, Adrian McKinnon Ini dan Moonshine, ini mereka di interview guys ya, ada part mereka di interview tentang lagu Hello Future Nah, ini gue suka nih, soalnya mereka pakai teknik modal mixture ya guys ya, itu minjem chord minornya dari misalkan dia main di F mayor minjem dari F minor minjem chord ibaratnya gitu guys ya jadi modal mixture gitu guys oke okay guys ini gue penasaran gue gue juga kurang paham guys ya, secara teori tapi gue uh, belajar juga di sini oke okay guys sebelum kita mulai kita intro guys cepat Oke okay guys, ini gue udah buka guys ya. Ini semoga gue bisa nyontek banyak di sini, gue bisa banyak belajar ya teman-teman juga. Pada kali udah pada nonton juga guys, jadi gue penasaran juga guys. Oke, okay, kita langsung mulai guys karena durasi panjang 27 menit. Kita langsung rekam aja guys. Cepat. Hello everyone, my name is Umu and I'm a musician who loves to interview K-pop stars. Oh, dia musisi juga guys ya. Today I am catching up with the amazing, amazing producing duo Moonshine. Okay, Moonshine. On some of my favorite works they have done in Oh, dia banyak ya. Oke, okay, nice. Ini banyak banget guys. Anjir banyak banget karyanya guys NCT 17 Aran Sulji Hyo Audrey Oh nice And Adrian McKinnon is gonna be here Woi Oke okay. Eh tunggu Dia penyanyi juga guys Oh and Adrian McKinnon is gonna be here Songwriter Oh dia nyiptain lagu juga guys ya Ini gua gua Aduh gua gak tau deh gua, gua mulai suka banget sama karya-karya dia guys Serius gua gak bohong sama sekali guys Ki Baekhyun dia Bambi, oke okay. Seven Sense, oke okay, nice Anjir karya banyak banget bos Dan semua hitmaker semua ya Sama dong Wah oh, gue bisa gak interview juga ya <laughs> Banyak yang mau gue tanya guys So I decided to keep it a secret from Moonshine for a bit So we can catch their surprise on camera Which we successfully did My name is Jonathan Yeah. Oh, Moonshine berdua ya? And uh, through Gale, together we're... Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> who's the producer? producer? I see what's coming. Hey! Wait. Hey. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? We're good. We're doing good. You look great. You look great. Gue kira Moonshine tuh cewek, guys. You look great. You look fresh. You hair too. Oh my god, it, it's been so long, actually. Yeah, okay, ini masih fase basa basi guys. Half a year, maybe? Close to yeah. that? Wah, sakti ini lagu nih. Ini produksi gokil, guys. Nah, oh, aku suka nih bicara ide. Oh. Udah lah, 2018 ya? We were having this online camp, and together with uh, Adrian and Kenzie, we picked up oh, the juga. Yeah. and finished it uh, prior to that uh, camp, uh, because we, like, there, there's something special about this one. We just okay. sent away the track, basically, yeah. and then Adrian and Kenzie <laughs> do the <laughs> thing. <laughs> I don't really know the process there, because it was basically, we didn't hear anything, and then we just got the entire top line back. Basically, uh, Kenzie had the framework for this one already laid out. She had her top line and the chorus was okay. phenomenal. It was already Oh, the chord kalau enggak salah 1 4 7 guys sih. 7 flat. Ah, benar kan? Major. Oke, ini gila sih. Oh, the beginning of the song trying to figure out how to how to initiate it. And this is why uh -huh. Moonshine is so awesome to work with in terms of their production is because they uh -huh. will have such a full production but still have room for you as a as a writer or a vocalist to do all kinds of different things. They uh Aha. Uh -huh. You guys, I'm just gonna blow you up a little bit. <laughs> But you guys go in so many colorful directions, and it, it always inspires a new way of approaching melody. So we okay. really took the time because there was so much. You could tell there's a lot of. Uh, Sorry guys, gue potong. Ini melodi memang orang lebih akrab dengan notasi major guys ya. Ini lebih gila maksudnya mereka pakai konsep ada di situasi yang sama memakai 
major plus minor. Kita lihat nih guys, coba. Dedication and, and love that went into that track in particular okay. that we didn't want to. Biasa pakai seven mode soalnya guys ya. <laughs> you know, Yaitu lah Ionian, uh, Dorian, uh, bla bla bla. Indy had a really strong footing on her idea. And you know, I just kind of went in and did some splashes of things here and there, and okay. then we came up with the concept after that. Wow! Uh -huh. So we already had all the overtones and the talk box. Oh yeah, pakai talk box dia. All the bell-like alien noises. Ah, ni sound ni guys, bicara sound ni. Didgeridoo, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> Didgeridoo. Alat lagi mana? Before the concept was invented. Didgeridoo. Hmm, benar kan? Udah gak pakai alat musik yang ini, ini alatnya udah mulai ke etnik guys Makanya yeah, soundnya tuh gak terlalu familiar sama kita Coba didgeridoo guys ya Coba spellingnya tadi gimana, kita kita lihat di Youtube guys, alat musiknya kayak gimana sih Didgeridoo Ah, sus Ah nih alat musiknya guys What the? Oke okay, oke okay, gokil coba lanjut lagi guys. Wah sakit. Di sampel apa nyari player by the way? Oh aborigin. Certainly at the end of the song the way it ended when he had that explosive like wow. To me that's what I that's what I Anjir, gue begitu. I was really proud of the Damn. Bisa yang pol sama mereka ya. But it was it was it was what we were it was the subject matter. I was going through some wow. things. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of like what was going on in the world, it really brought me to this place of like well, what's going on with humanity? Why are we like why are we so against each other? Specifically here in the states, the song was originally called Human Nature. Oh, awal ini Human Nature. Like, yeah. Idenya gila. Ia jatuh so desain ya. I think it was Kenzie who did the writing, right? On, yeah. on her end? Yeah, and she and she came up with Hello Future, which was brilliant because wow. she was still able to like keep pieces of what I was trying to say but also like lighten the mood. It was it was amazing. It's like enough of the original in there, so you like I can still hear your rap in my head because especially with the rap parts, they have like some of the keywords in English are still your original right. lyrics. Right. So uh -huh. you can still kind of hear it in your head. What we felt I find so satisfying what, when we're sending over tracks to you, Adrian, is that we kind of have an idea of what type of top lock, like we make this type of chorus with open white chords, and we can hear what you probably will do. Okay. But every single time, <laughs> you just throw us a freaking curveball. It's like we just, we just <laughs> try to, to challenge you into like, okay, we, we gotta put you into this road. Do you take it? White chord? White chord, uh, chord lebar tuh maksudnya ini kali guys ya, jadi ada uh, suspended, mungkin ada ditambahin chord 13, jadi secara melodis mungkin nggak bisa terlalu, akhirnya terpaku dalam satu line guys ya, biasanya kalau chord-chord yang cuman di chordin 1, 3, 5, itu udah pasti ngebentuk chord uh, major, kalau misalnya 1, uh, flat 3, 5, itu pasti ngebentuk minor nih guys ya, jadi mereka pengen tahu nih, dia nantang kayaknya guys ya ke produser ini. Thing to do over that specific part, like for example, like the, the chorus. Okay. And of course, like Kenzie uh, made the ground foundation for for the I, I guess most of the parts in the top line. Um, okay. Yeah, um, I know that she also got direction from an A and R in particular about keeping it in sort of the major realm because keep it light, like not boleh terlalu dark. It, okay. But they wanted a light and uplifting sort of uh, you know on the on the major side of color. Okay. So we played around a lot with. Staying in the major, but also hitting you with the minor every now and again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Okay, see, orangnya ini juga berarti orangnya sih. First time we got to hear your version, like when the chorus hits, uh -huh. and like you're taken by surprise because it starts like dark and kind of like really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, awesome. It's yeah, arpeggio di sini juga dark, dark banget, guys. Guys, yang notasi yang berjalan itu. Nah, di sini langsung prank yeah. gitu kan? Well, see, like, damn sih. And that, Busy, honestly, like that part uh, when it goes into major after the rap, it threw me off for the longest time because mm -hmm. the way I was hearing it was dark, 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 dark. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so 
I think a few attempts uh, at the melody were on the on the darker side, the more minor side. And okay. Kenzie was like, "We need to. I think we need to keep it on the light side." A and R was saying this. We should probably stick to it. So okay. we did a lot of detail work there. And once we were happy with what we got, then the rest of it was just. Whew, just took off. And the chorus was. Uh, I tell you what, that that's chorus. probably one of my one of my most favorite choruses I have ever been a part of. Yes, it's it's doing doing making tension noise. It's getting in the production a bit better, and I was just like, I got it, and like I came down, you know, Christmas, <laughs> yeah, and I just listened to, I just solo the harmonies, I just sent it to Jonathan straight away. He was like, listen, dude, and we go. Yes. Like, <laughs> Because when the chorus hits, like if yeah. you just listen to the harmonies, like you don't need the lead, you don't need the instrumental, you just need like the harmonies. You're like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we were talking about the way you harmonize your top lines generally, and it's it's very much inspired by Kenzie's way of doing things in yes. many regards, okay. mixed up of course with your background and then mm -hmm. your touch. But yeah. you two yeah. doing that together really leads to some layers that are very very unexpected it's not like mm -hmm. you're just layering fits all all over oh no, you're like emphasizing eh? specific words stacking them mm -hmm. with so many different notes i think she and i both and i was this is just like theory stuff we tried to stay away from she like a lot of parallels with harmony because it does get a little bit you know not, know. not as far so yeah. you lose the tension and you, you need that some tension release and uh Okay. I remember when I first went to Korea and I worked with Kenzie, I noticed that about her in particular is we went line by line with harmonies and she didn't just layer it like that. And so I was like, holy cow, I need to step my game up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've always been a fan of doing okay, that. Okay, soalnya kalau misalkan harmoni tuh udah paling aman tuh tiga sama lima guys ya. Tapi kan gue gak tau nih, ini dijelasin gak sini guys? But see, watching her work, every single time blows me away. Blows me or away. when she sends something over, I'm like, how does she think to do that? It boggles my mind. <laughs> so we do have slightly different approaches, but I think we both equally appreciate that tension and release. Okay. And bringing it back to the track, mm -hmm. Moonshine, when you were first writing the song and oh, writing is writing Moonshine. And writing a track to be a track, did you have any movie inspirations or anything Seriously. in general? Any specific story Kita that lihat, you guys. the track? I recall us started making this track it, we we really felt the pressure of needing like we, we had to make something great right we i like the anthem yeah, oh, it was anthem. supposed to sound like it like a huge anthem and i do recall like the first note that's mm -hmm. almost dubstep the kind of horn diggity do kind of sound <laughs> from the Gue baru tahu alat musik ya guys dari Australia itu guys just one synth and one patch that we had been trying to get into so many productions and it was like okay this time okay let's <laughs> and that starts off the entire thing i think okay. that was the first initial kind of inspiration it's like how can we make a song around this that is it's so bombastic it's so it's like i don't know it sounds like from something from a star wars movie that is not really supposed to be a musical element yeah, yeah and yeah, I, yeah, I guess yeah. that that combined with that chopped vocal Uh, yes, ini yang sering gue bilang guys, ada beberapa teknik tuh buat ngecop tuh biasanya nggak harus vokal dicop nih guys, tapi drum digabung sama vokal, vokal digabung sama trompet, mungkin sama digerudi apa tadi itu guys, itu bisa terjadi banget guys untuk mendapatkan sound yang baru, jadi original guys ya. Lanjut lagi guys, gue penasaran Along nih. With just trying to to build around that and play around that because I mean the, sec the second half of both verses okay. utilize that being just a static just on the fundamental basically throughout the entire song mm. but then building different chords around that was kind of a way for us to challenge yeah. ourselves mm -hmm. I think that was the starting point and from there we've talked about that a lot but it's like then go into the cloud where uh -huh. you have no idea what's happening until you're finished with the entire track and yeah. it's quite hard to recall Exactly cloud. Ya soalnya guys, ini kadang-kadang bikin musik tuh nggak harus sesuai dengan musik teori. Jadi kita malah pusing guys. Gue kebetulan gue begitu. Gue tipe-tipe tuh kalau misalkan sama tim-tim gue kadang-kadang bikin musik tuh lebih ngejam guys. Eh nada ini enak nih. Pakai yuk, udah masukin comot. Ini misalkan buat intro. Ketemu lagi yang asik nih buat chorus enak. Eh ini ketemu lagi buat bridge, mungkin buat first. Gue nggak tahu cara kerja mereka begitu juga apa nggak guys. Kita lihat aja guys. Specific inspiration. We work together a lot, and uh -huh. we sometimes just get on the same page. We like don't have to talk about what we want to do. It's like when mm -hmm. we get up there, we're both like, yeah, we're making 
that song. <laughs> and like we both usually just like know where we go. Like if you've ever played in a band, ah. then, you know, it's just sounds coming. Mm. Mm -mm. yeah. See? Mm. And then you yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 and, uh, you know, it's, it's basically that basically kayaknya mereka anak band guys. Ya yeah, kan? Bener, kayak yeah. ngejam guys. Ngejam. Soalnya gue kadang-kadang malah bikin, gue, gue bikin tuh jadi looping guys. Misalkan uh, gue selalu ngincar biasanya 8 bar. 4, 4 bar biasanya untuk bikin groove uh, pattern drum. Terus biasanya 8 bar, gue bikin tuh buat instrumen yang gue udah bikin drum part. Part drumnya itu gue bikin patternnya. Gue ikutin dengan groove bassnya asiknya gimana ya. Pakai sound apa guys ya. Abis itu baru middle uh, layering guys ya. Kayak keyboard, gitar, dan segala macam. Kayaknya mereka gitu juga guys. It's floating around in the room. It shows up and everybody's like, oh, look how shiny that is. We gotta use that. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. single time. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, benar, benar. Right, last question for Hello Future. We've already Man, no, like, talked a little bit about the switching between major and minor. Nice, did you? And I believe I have asked you all this question before I asked about what is the importance of harmony in music, but I don't think I've ever specifically asked about the importance of modal mixture. Modal mixture, why okay. Why use minor in a major song, why use yes. a minor song, and why specifically? Minjem, minjem, guys, eh? It's colors. I always go back to this. This color. Yeah, lah, pasti so, jelas. Color tension di sini. Me is another way of looking at, is another way of painting a picture, essentially. And you can't really do it when you're just running with the primary colors. Betul. Over and over. Betul. When you get it and bosan orang guys. To change it up to go from cold yes. to hot to go from smooth, smooth to rough. To even, rough. Like, yeah. The tension and release. I think that is what drew me to K-pop in the first place. I've noticed more modal mixture in K-pop in general than I have in any other genre of music. And um, Tapi gue setuju guys, maksud gue sering react juga lagu-lagu uh, K-pop guys. Itu ngerubah gue kenapa cinta tiba-tiba sama K-pop dari tahun 2021. Kalau nggak salah guys, saya kurang lebih kayak gitu. Gue mulai dengerin lagu-lagu K-pop dan di situ memang banyak patahan-patahan yang yang biasa gue denger lagu secara umum guys. Tiba-tiba kok anjir minor tiba-tiba di Major, major, jadi minor itu menurut gue sesuatu hal yang baru yang selama ini gue belum pernah dengar soalnya guys. Mungkin di jazz sering guys. Okay. Either ever or in a long time, okay. and it just goes. Oh my gosh, I could I could try this one melody. I always hum to myself, you know, on the weekend or something, and I can try and. and Musisi kita guys, nggak pernah hilang so dari notasi di kepala. For Hello Future, okay. it was Kenzie's hook for me that was like that just that just took me over the edge. When you're going up in a major, da, da, da. And down in a minor, inspired by the chords. It was da da da, oh, da, da, da. and then da da da, 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 know, da. It, it went to there, and it was just like, holy cow! And we were able to play with the uh, with the new melody we've never were we never got a chance to do before. So I, yeah. I think the modal modal mixture is one of the most effective ways to yeah, really see. get that element of surprise. Surprise, but it's, it's like yeah. you're expecting a minor, then the major comes in. In this particular case, when it comes to the future, I, I would say. Sorry, sorry, tadi bahasa gue bilang. It's like you're expecting a minor, then the majors comes. Oh yes, yes, benar, 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 guys. Hello future, gitu kan? Wah, jadi sedetail itu. Wow. Chorus. Yeah. Ini berat kan, guys? Itu dia. Setuju banget. Not overdoing it because then you're just getting used to that. It comes out of nowhere, and and that really brings that that extra couple of percentages to the I don't know the uniqueness of the melody or the, the general vibe. Itu seharusnya tujuh flat guys ya. This song. Ya yeah, seharusnya kan dia. Uh, well, I, I do like turun setengah doang padahal like dari say, satu. Just, with the verses, you didn't really do too much for chords. You were just driving that one pretty much throughout. Which again, gave yeah, yeah. Writers, itu sering banget di K-pop guys ya. Ah ini masuk ke major Fantastic banget sih. This is going to be the end of Adrian's appearance in the NCT Dream video. So we're gonna say huh? bye Adrian. Oh. We'll see you in part two. Oh, oh penjelasannya cuma sampai sini doang. Alright, so am I, am I leaving for real, for real? No, 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 no. <laughs>
that's oh, okay, just for okay. video editing's sake. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Let's wrap up this interview with a couple questions about Diggity and Bungie. So yeah. first okay. off, with Diggity, this is very fun, carefree song, right? So naturally, you guys have to add in a skirt. Skirt. <laughs> that's the question. Chop me in. Either is it is you? Either is it is one of the What? I didn't even Either is it Actually go on another one. Is it one of the numbers? Yeah. Because we wrote it with Ken C and Ken Yeah, I mean I mean first off, this is actually uh, I may be wrong, but I'm, I'm quite sure that this is the first session we've ever had with Kansi. This song is so old. We wrote it such a long time ago, and then of course, like what, once they decided they wanted to release it, we, we had a couple of edits, kind of yeah. freshing it up yeah. and, and stuff like that. But, but the general foundation of that song was basically our first camp, one of our one of our first camps in, in Korea. We wrote this song with with Kansi and Kasi. That was the first time oh, that we were to run, 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 the, America they wanted us to write a uh, guy song, even though there were only uh, female top oh, liners. Top so it's like, okay, and Cassie wasn't really used to uh, laying down demo vocals mm. for for a male act. Okay. And, and therefore, Secara chord mungkin lebih ke arah ini suara cowok. Eh. Use all the tricks in the book trying to make it sound more as a guy song. Oh, awalnya buat lagu cewek, guys. Layering all the lead throughout the entire song so okay. the demo is actually two voices singing simultaneously mm -hmm. so we sat till like five in the morning uh, making that song mixing that song and some were in there it could be either be me it could be a sample uh could but be it could be one of the guys yeah, in the band yeah <laughs> the reason why it's so hard to I mean, go, go on, I guys. Was Skirt so it was in the original demo yeah. okay. it sounded like a whole chant song yeah, yeah. all the all mm -hmm. the way through it was a long time ago since we wrote it but it's amazing how how working with Kenzie at that time see the video okay gini gak sih guys ini orang kayak genius banget di Kenzie ini guys song, because the track wasn't gonna be something dated yeah, for, yeah. The, for the next couple of years to come it was always thought to be for entity dream okay but I guess due to its kind of aggressive nature they were waiting till they were mature Written in 2018? Yeah. yeah. 17 or 18. Yeah. 17. Oh, okay, so that was around 17. the time that MCT Dream was, yeah, starting to mature. And so oh, they were going to be a concept of this. Yeah. And then they'll eventually bring back. Because, yeah, this, yeah. this is very intense. Okay. But it's also intensely uplifting. So, the dream that they're going to be able to do is more bright, more bright, more bright. It's much harder song than the Yiddick. So, like, they started really light, went really dark. Like oh yeah, bro, bang banget eh. <laughs> And now they're like somewhere. I uh, think it's great. I think it shows like a lot of color for them. I, I like that they can do both sides of that. Mm. Uh, okay. Not everything needs to be hard, fast, and like aggressive. And not everything has to be like cutesy. Nice. Okay, they grow by image this too, guys. They can be mature, be dark. Yeah, exactly why they released Hello Future and Hot Sauce back to back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. would you say the main themes? For, for this track, track, okay. Sorry, you might have to refresh your memory, but like specifically for the production. I just hmm. remember like the one of like the hooks, the things okay, that we got. Okay, hooks. Like the rhythmic nature of like the da 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 da, just like the down 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 down. The sound is good, guys. I think like that was the first thing you're like. Oh, <laughs> I do recall. This is one of those tracks where we we played a bunch of tracks and eventually Kenzie picked that track. Basically, the feedback was in some way we, we need more character. We okay, more it's paling penting sih character sih guys. Sitting there during mid session while they're top lining, we're kind of after. Yeah, ini emang selalu proses sih gini guys sih. Produksi ada feedback tambahan baru tambahin extra sauce lagi guys di situ guys. Selalu gitu. We also added you know those dang 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 boom boom you know, those things in the verses uh, in order to kind of complement and add a bit more char character to the actual track. Actual We've track. learned a lot during the years, over the years, and, and a lot of that comes from feedback just like that. It's like, okay, they like those small Earworms. Earworms or small details. Ooh, it's paling penting guys. Small detail. Makin gue selalu dengar pakai headphone guys. Atau pakai speaker ini ya monitor. For, for many years, like just of 
all the demos we've written because the, the feedback we got on that track while we were actually writing it mm -hmm. really really helped us to kind of figure out what to which degree we can do more is more or less is more you know and then oh, yeah i was going to ask if the siren in the song was an homage oh, to Raiden. Raiden, but this was written way before Raiden, so yeah, the, mm -hmm. yeah. the siren in Raiden is an homage to this one <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> it's like sirens it's something <laughs> quite atonal that brings a lot of hype like clear to, tonal to center. song like that especially if it goes in half tempo it adds some some character basically mm -hmm. To, right. to the production. Co production, okay. Right, well, speaking of fun things, let's talk about the fun groove in Bungie. Oh, so yes. so. cow. That, uh, the, how in the pocket the beat is. What's your recipe for Ito eating do. such a mm. huge, groovy, laid back in the pocket? It's gila si Grey. Making groove, gila si Sometimes things happen by accident. That one definitely did. That was a long day of just finding that groove. This is okay. a song that didn't start of, of like a musical idea, more Tata like an uh, idea Medicate. in the mind. We just walked to the studio, we talked about like Swedish music, and we talked about like 90s Swedish music. Mm, like the 90s, eh? so it they, is. They kind of like ripped. Oh, Pantasan guys, is of bass. Music, like, <laughs> it's a bass and everything, like it was such a weird time and such a weird sound. Yeah, yeah, sound, 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 associate that with like the Swedish sound from the 90s. So we were like, let's make an Ace of Bass track <laughs> mm. uh, and make it capable. Sorry, um, are we talking about Rocket or Bungie? <laughs> I'm talking about the wrong song. Like, I think, oh, I, think <laughs> the, I, I think you're talking about, but, but here's the funny thing, because both those tracks share that same type of inspiration because, because oh. Rocket has that backbeat course. Yeah. I, I, I guess that's what you initially were talking yeah. about, but it's it's quite fitting because oh, uh, sorry. because the groove is, is very much 90s as well, okay. in that kind of boom yeah. up kind of very chopped up rhythm. So I mean, the, like you answered the question perfectly as well, but I, I guess I guess we we use the the <laughs> instruments like the tonal yeah. instruments of Rocket uses that 90s throwback, while the drum section of of Bungie is is very much a 90s Pantasan gue sering banget denger nuansa 90s guys di K-pop guys ternyata emang produser-produsernya emang mengarah kebalik lagi kesana guys ya secara sound guys and therefore Bungie adds a lot of you know small small details into get into those pockets pockets that song was a hard to produce as well it was incredibly hard to produce as well as getting a top line that actually would fit yeah yeah we we've had a a uh, couple of top liners trying things out on this one and mm -hmm. having that type of pocket you can't really sing straight eight notes on there mm. uh, you really have to be quite creative with with how you use rhythm around a track that is very very rhythmically complex because there is you know, one and two and three and four and i really just remember also because we tried with a few top lines as we said and sometimes we were like it sounds good but the parking isn't right and we were okay, like yeah. we can probably fix that in post ourselves and we just mm. realized like it's so weird because you can't really replicate the Mm. Yeah, like, bener. It never worked out. It just sounded wrong. We were like, biasanya hasil pertama biasanya enak here, tuh guys. Moodnya lagi enak. I'm right. You're like, no, now it's too late. Yeah. Now it's too early. And like, I'm I'm super impressed that when NCT actually recorded the song, mm. that they ma managed to sing it the right way. Ah, itu yeah. yang sering gue bilang so juga guys. Yeah. Mereka produser yeah, yeah, bisa yeah, bagus, yeah, tapi really vokalis really harus bagus juga untuk ngisi feelnya guys, soulnya itu guys. In the pocket lah because dum taka taka ta ta that it doesn't have the same thing dum taka taka ta ta you know yeah. that it's, it's overly swinged if we're talking about swing being a percentage it's basically an 80 percentage of, of swing it was also a lot of like freaking without me yeah swing tuh pengertiannya guys kalau misalnya gua di gua bicara cue bass guys disitu ada kayak uh, quantize misalkan drum pingin straight on the beat di tempo tuh biasanya pas di titiknya di beatnya guys, tapi kalau swing tuh kayak rada telat dikit, jadi dapat feel musicalnya tuh lebih dapat guys. All the reverb tails come out at the right time. Yeah. Yeah, tail tail reverb. Detail oriented. Mm. Yeah. And I was wondering, if, did you have to quantize? Ah. Oke, okay, dijelasin nih. How do you quantize and, and play with the automation? Automation juga ya. Somehow still make it sound human. Yes, like baru ngomong, lebih manusia gitu guys. Mostly by hand. 
because it can't right. really quantize it. Wow. Oh, you know, the reverb thing was super. Yeah. Guys, kebayang gak guys? Ini kalau misalnya ngebatik groove guys, ya, misalnya kita pakai groove agent gitu, kita ngegambar nih kicknya salah satu titik-titik. Kita milih misalkan mau temanya seper 16, seper 8. Untuk high hat biasanya kan uh, straight seper 8 atau seper 16, cik 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 gitu. Itu ngebatik salah satu. Sedangkan gua biasanya kerja itu copy paste guys. Ini mereka bener-bener satu-satu ngebatik guys. Gokil, rajin banget pak. Gokil. Because you do like that, you did like that automation trick where it's like the reverb bounces out from Ini dia. some parts. Ini salah satunya gua nge-react juga tuh reverb automation tuh di lagunya Jaehyun guys. Soalnya kan kadang-kadang di beberapa part dia menggema banget baru dia tiba-tiba turun lagi guys di situ. Itu itu seninya sih guys. And then you have to like take it back. I don't know. It's yeah, it's 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 a lot of things going on with, with very few, few elements. elements. It's okay. like that synth is just one synth. The, okay. the main chord synth is just one synth, but it's the processing that took a long yes. time from doing wow. the reverb tails yeah. yes. along with actually getting a very dry feel along with a very wet feel from from having reverb and then. Itu kalau misalnya mix dry sama wet itu ya makin basah makin kayak begema tuh biasanya di wet guys ya kalau dry itu makin kering makin suaranya tuh kayak kalian ngetik di mikrofon aja gitu guys ya ibaratnya just take stripping it away unnaturally like it's not tuning out it's not fading away it's okay. just cut off basically mm. okay a lot of going in manually and yeah. making sure everything fits in ah itu gila yeah. yeah. ini tipe-tipe orang rajin guys produser rajin <laughs> kalau gue kadang-kadang suka malas sih and tapi emang harus kayak gini guys I loved the moonshine beat producer tag in this one because I feel like it's one of the harder ones to catch. <laughs> so okay. naturally, I've got to ask you guys, what is your favorite 20, or I guess the songs that were released in 2021? What was your favorite moonshine tag, and or which one did you feel like was the most creative out of all? Okay, so like Earthquake had a lot of bassiness. I don't think about it. Lagu-lagu NCT emang gila secara sound, guys. Mereka explore banget, guys. Over and over again, so once the tags are in there, we don't really reflect on how we do do them. Of course, we're trying to play around with them a lot. Soalnya dulu, kalau misalkan dari tahun-tahun 90-an, eh, gue mulai dengar lagu 80-90, gue dengar memang, guys, beberapa, gak sebanyak yang, yang gak sebanyak itu lah, guys. Tapi gue dengar tuh mereka lebih main chord progression, lebih beautifully, eh, voicing chordnya guys ya, tapi kalau sekarang gue denger lebih banyak K-pop guys itu mereka lebih fokus ke arah ininya guys, soundnya, sound designnya guys gila oh, sih it, but... jadi oh, ada perubahan disitu guys Funniest one. Yeah, I mean sure. it's, it's it's like especially since you started noticing the tag, it's fair mm. to say that that more and more people have noticed it, and therefore it kind of adds to the challenge to kind of hide them as good as possible. I mean now now we we're just playing the game, <laughs> you know, we're we're just trying to hide that Easter egg in all of our productions basically. Sama aja kayak bikin ini gue penggemar uh, Marvel movie guys, jadi tuh kadang-kadang ada small detail yang menjadi Easter egg gitu yang lo cari tahu sendiri. Sama, ini gue jadi gue kalau denger lagu-lagu K-pop tuh biasanya ada easter egg juga guys ya Gimik-gimik tertentu yang mereka Ini gue berharap pendengar mendengarkan ya guys Ada sound yang gue, gue desain di satu titik, di, di detik keberapa atau komunit keberapa Kok bisa denger, itu memang sih bahagia banget guys For everyone to, to get a challenge <laughs> Ah, for everyone to get a challenge So like, you know, and naughty Moonshine! In Hello Future, it's just become something to sing along with, yeah, and yeah. I'm sure the idols are also having fun with that too. Yeah, I'm just surprised and happy that they still like keep it in the songs because because uh. they have like the opportunity to take it away, but they don't do I it. I think it's I'm nice. Like, super happy about that. Yeah. I think it's nice. Wow, the part two, nanti guys. Gue pause dulu guys, gila ya banyak informasi di sini guys ya maksudnya benar-benar tuh mereka emang orang di bidangnya benar-benar sangat profesional guys jujur aja gue banyak belajar dari sini guys untuk songwriting di bagian band 
ya cara gue mungkin beberapa udah udah udah, udah on track guys ya kayak misalkan lebih ngejam lebih ngejiwai secara musikal aja guys nggak, nggak harus terpatok uh, musical teori tapi emang penting musical teori kan karena ada kolerasi yang ke arah sana guys untuk lebih mempersingkat proses lah guys ibaratnya kayak gitu guys oke okay, guys sekian dari gue thank you for watching jangan lupa untuk like share dan komen di video jangan lupa membaca tombol subscribe please sign out bye bye